Hi everyone, it's Sarah with Ruffles and Rain Boots, and today we're making a sweet little gnome with our curly hat and some boots. If you'd like to make it, stick around, and as always, please smash that like button so I know you're here crafting with me, and while you're there, hit subscribe and the little bell for notifications. So this is a really simple gnome, no sew. We're gonna start out with felt, longer sort of socks, paper rolls, hot glue, faux fur, and clay. So the first thing you're gonna do is make your boots. Now I have a pattern coming out that is a really big pattern of a ton of different ways to make shoes and boots. This is by far the easiest and everybody has these supplies on hand, so that's why we're sharing it here. So you're gonna take a paper roll, however high you want your boots to be, and then you're gonna take um, about a half to a three quarter inch piece and use it, um, to create the front of the shoe. So you're basically just going to cut it and then put it on either side of the roll. And now we're gonna do that again. So you're just gonna measure what you cut to. Um, and then again, we're using a paper towel roll here, but I've used uh, kids craft paper rolls. They're really thick and work really well. You can get those on Amazon. Um, and you are going to have to sort of make sure that they sit flat-ish. We're going to adjust them a little bit with some felt, but we do wanna make Make sure they're flattish. And we're just gonna repeat that for the second shoe. And they're ready. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is, this is by far the easiest uh, pattern. It is not my favorite. Um, it doesn't look as finished as some of the other ones, but if you're new to shoe, shoe making for gnomes, this is a good one to start with. All you're gonna do is you're gonna estimate the, see the sole, so you're gonna sort of outline it with your pencil. It makes an indentation in the felt. You're gonna cut it out and then you're going to attach it just really roughly, like it's not gonna look good. And don't worry that it's not gonna look good. This is just the first thing that's sort of holding this thing together. So don't worry, like I promise you we are gonna fix this. So you can see like the glue and don't worry, I promise. Have faith. Okay, so we're gonna trim up any edges and we're gonna repeat it with the second one. Again, you don't have to see it. You're just gonna cut the indentation out. There you go. And we're gonna do the same thing. Just add a little bit of glue and help it shape the front by attaching it to the felt. Okay, now that you have those, we're gonna add some weight. So we add, uh, I added polyfill beads. You can add rice, you can add whatever you want. And then a little stuffing to sort of make it fluffy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut per the pattern, we're going to wrap the entire thing. It's going to be as tall as from the, the base to the top of the boot. And then when you, connect it, it's gonna come together in sort of a Y shape and you're just gonna cut right down that Y, okay? It's really simple. I think it's better explained in print, so I'm gonna put the link below to the full tutorial um, because to me it's a little easier to show in actual steps as opposed to on video. All right, so you can see there, all I did was I just made a front bow. You can use ribbon, you can use felt like I did, and we're gonna add a little bit of Sherpa fur lining to the boots. And now we're gonna move on to the body. So all we're doing is we're taking um, a sock, ours is Argyle, because who doesn't love Argyle? And we're going to put about three quarters cup of rice in it. And all you're wanting to do is make sure that the base of the body is sitting sturdy on the boots, okay? So you saw me pushing down a little bit there. Now we're going to fluff it up with our polyfill and sort of really make our body how tall and how thick we want. Okay, so we're gonna, I just tied this one off. You don't have to do that. Use twine if you have it to secure it, but I just popped it in here because we are gonna build a pretty tall hat, so I wanted to give a little bit of structure, but I need this part for the arms, so I'm gonna cut this off and secure that with a little hot glue. So you're gonna take the other sock now and you're gonna make the hat. So what I've done is you just leave the bottom of the sock or the top, the part that goes around your, your ankle, and cut to a point on a diagonal right before the toe. That's it. It doesn't have to be any more confusing than that. We're gonna flip it inside out so that we can glue the inside seam. All right, so uh, we're just gonna line it up here, lay it down flat, and then use our hot glue. So I'm gonna speed this up, sorry. I, I don't know if you like these sped up things. I have some people who tell me they like it when I speed it up. Others tell me don't speed it up, but the videos become a full 20 minutes long and I don't, I don't like sitting through 20 minutes. But let me know in the comments below what your preferred method is. Uh, okay, so once that's dry, we're going to flip out the sock inside, no, outside right, 
yeah. Use a pencil eraser or the tip of a pencil to carefully poke out the end. Now, you have two ways to do this. You can either fill the hat and have a very tall hat. You can have a fill a hat without a you know floppy hat, or you can do like we're doing, which is bending the end of a piece of wire and using it to shape our hat. So all I'm doing is making sure the bottom or the end tip is sort of rounded off, and now I'm going to put in my polyfill. Now I get a lot of questions on the website about poly, or about making the hat smooth and even. I have to tell you, some of it is just going to come with practice, and some of it is actually just how you roll it. So you'll see me roll it on the table. You'll see me roll it between my hands. Um, I'll bang the thing down on <laughs> on the table. So I just want you to know, like, don't be worried if it's all lumpy in the beginning. So you can see here, I'm just still pulling, putting the fluffy stuffing, fluffy stuffing, polyfill stuffing in, um, and I'm just sort of working it and making sure it's a all white all the way to the tip. I just accidentally poked the thing out the side there, so I had to fix that. But we're gonna make sure we get a lot of polyfill in there, and we roll it in between our hands. You can see me rolling it, moving it, um, and we're gonna do that. And we do even a little bit more adjusting once we get it on the body, to be honest. So you'll see I put the wire into the sock because it's you can just poke it in through there. And now I'm going to pull this sock really far down. So I just want to show you, normally I'll edit this part out, but I want to show you like this is not just sitting on the very top. If you set it on the very top, you're going to have a wobbly hat no matter what you do. Okay. So just FYI, pull that tension down all the way to the base. We are actually going to lift up that sock later, just, you know, the edge of the sock. But what we're trying to do is make sure when we roll it, we understand like we need a little more stuffing in here because it's not rolling well. It's not sitting flat. And then we'll roll it again between our hands or on the table, kind of squish it, play with it. So that's, I just wanted to share you with you to try and answer some of the questions I get. This is a process. Okay. No one gets it right the first time. All right. So now we're just going to glue on our nose. Now I prefer normally to put the beard on, but I had a lot of questions about cutting the U out of the beard. So I'm going to do that for you on this one. Um, all we're going to do is we're going to attach the nose to the body, attach the brim of the hat to the top of the nose so it doesn't move, and then we're going to cut out our beard. Now, you can leave a square beard or you can do like I do, which is taper it off, and then I use all these little scraps for like pencil toppers and magnets and print pins, um, but I'm just cutting it sort of sort of a roundish kind of U-ish shape, and then I cut the little nose cut out, okay? There we go, and then all we're going to do is just hot glue that guy on. That's it. A uh, little bit later, I'll show you how we make the top look really nice and professional. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to attach the boots. This is this easy, guys and gals. All we're going to do is add a little hot glue to everything and squish it right on top. That's it. Okay? Don't make it harder than it is, right? All right, so if you want arms, I do because I'm making a coffee cup, we're going to use the other piece of the sock that we cut off, and we're going to make sure we have that brim down there so that we can create a nice little cuff, right? Doesn't it look like, cute? So you can see me. I'm kind of estimating sizes here and stuff, and all I'm going to do, oops, sorry, I bumped the camera a lot. I'm going to cut through the sock in the middle, see, so see, and then I have two pieces. Make sure that you get it, you know, semi straightish, which is what I was trying to fix there. All right, so all we're going to do is turn it right sides out, no, right sides in together, and then we're going to glue that seam. That's it, okay? And then once that's dry, we're going to repeat it with the other one and turn it inside out and flip the little cuff up. We're going to stuff it with polyfill. Now you can also put wire in here, I'm not going to, but we're gonna curl that hat if you want it done, you know, while your, your arms are uh, setting. We're now going to make our mug. Now, one, one quick thing about the arms. You tuck up one edge up under the hat. If you're new here to Ruffles and Rain Boots making gnomes, uh, you don't glue the hat all the way down until the arms are under. Okay, so all we're doing for the polymer clay coffee cup is we're making a marshmallow-ish shape. We're going to indent the top by sticking our finger in it. And then we're going to make a swirl of sort of a light brownish red uh, and white. And then we're going to stick that into the top. I'm making a little... <laughs> 
<laughs> whipped cream here and a coffee mug handle. So you can use a toothpick, your fingernail, clay tools, it doesn't matter, but we're gonna bake that. Once it is baked and cooled, we're going to attach it. And it's as easy as you think it is. Um, oh, I added the little clay hands, so that was something I forgot to do on video. But I added the little clay hands to the end, and now we're just going to hot glue it. Uh, because this is a bigger mug for the size of our gnome, we actually want to attach it right here to the beard so it has just a little bit extra. Now you can see I'm going to make the top look good by pushing down the sides of that brim right to the nose and then we finish off with our hands. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Is this something you would make this cute little guy with the <laughs> with the curly tail and the coffee cups? It's the easiest gnome with shoes that I could possibly think of. Hey thanks for joining us and please like and subscribe to Ruffles and Rain Boots for more crafty fun.